Hello, thank you, family. Welcome back. Today, we are going to be making the absolute best recipe for our low carb chocolate chip cookie. If this is your first time with us, don't forget hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon so you don't miss upcoming videos. Let's get started, guys. All right, lovely. So, as always, everything I'm using today will be listed down in the description below. And then at the end of the video will be a nutritional information card so you can see what the macro breakdown for these cookies are. All right, now that's out of the way, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start off with our dry ingredients first. In here, I have a cup of almond flour. It's already been sifted. Make sure you sift your powders and your flours. You don't want any lumps or bumps in these cookies, okay? And then to that, I'm gonna add six tablespoons of coconut flour. It's also been sifted out already. And to my flowers, I'm gonna go ahead and add a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. And then in here, I have a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of pink Himalayan sea salt. And we're just gonna give these guys a stir. So as a note, guys, you'll notice that there's not a link to a recipe in the description below. That's because my daughter and I have been doing some experimenting in the kitchen. We've taken inspiration from probably a dozen different recipes, trying them out, having some not so good cookies, and we've actually just adjusted what we liked and didn't like about all of them and came up with one recipe that I think has the best of all the worlds in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. All right, we're gonna set this aside for just a second, and we're gonna go to our mixer here. And to that mixer, I'm gonna add, I got six tablespoons of butter, you want your butter to be room temperature for this. In my case, I forgot to let it set out, so it was softened in the microwave for about 20, 30 seconds. So to that butter in there, we're gonna go ahead and add our sweeteners. I have a third cup of monk fruit here. You can use your sweetener of choice. I prefer monk fruit, especially in cookies. Now I have three tablespoons of swerve brown sugar. I can't tell you how hard it was to find the brown sugar in stores here because Amazon has been taking a little while to get to me and I didn't wanna wait. I think in the fourth store I went to in Publix, I found it. Hopefully that helps. All right, so we're gonna just beat all this together so that butter gets really nice and fluffy. All right, now we're gonna add in the next two ingredients. I've got a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And this ingredient is optional, but I find it really adds a whole new element to the flavor profile. I have maple syrup flavored concentrate here. And we're just gonna put 10 drops of this in. All right, we're gonna mix that together again. Now that we got that all mixed together, I wanna add two eggs already beaten. And we're gonna mix those in as well. All right, that is all we're gonna do with the mixer for now. Next is we're gonna add our wet mixture to our dry mixture. All right, give all this a really good stir. Now for the best part, I've got a quarter cup of Lily's dark chocolate baking chips here. Oh, I absolutely love them. Whatever sugar-free baking chip you want to use, and we're gonna gently fold these in. Now that those chocolate chips are folded in, I'm gonna go ahead and get them on my baking sheet. I already sprayed this with avocado oil cooking spray. Now we're just going to I like to make a little ball and then squash it just a little bit so I know how much they're going to spread out. We're going to do that for all of these. Now, if you are strict keto, you might want to weigh your dough first and then divide up into equal portions. Those will probably make about 14 cookies, um, but it's up to you. I'm not that strict with mine, so I just kind of wing it a little bit. My sheet is full, I'm gonna pop this in the oven. I've already preheated my oven to 350 degrees. It needs to cook anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes. I find 10 makes them nice and soft still in the middle, but if you like your cookies a little more done, you probably wanna cook them closer to 12, but start checking them so you don't burn them. All right, I'll be right back with you. All right, lovely, so these have come out of the oven. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now, as a note, the back of my oven does tend to brown things a little bit more than the front, so a couple of these got slightly darker, but that they're absolutely perfect. I really hope you guys try these out because they came out so delicious. They're nice and chewy without being too soft or crumbly. They are amazing. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you know anybody can use a great low carb chocolate chip cookie, make sure you share this video with them. Until next time guys, bye.